This is the story of Omatepe or Bust, a senior design team from Valparaiso University. Team members Joanne Borchert, Mike Gibbs, Matt Hoovey, Dan Ladig, Aaron Swanson, and faculty advisor Pete Johnson all had a vision that would change their lives and the lives of many Nicaraguans forever. Their mission was to generate electricity for a school and health clinic on Ometepe Island in Nicaragua and to have the system installed in March of 2006. We decided to build a windmill to provide power to the community. The electrical engineers purchased a permanent magnet alternator for the generator. Through testing, they found that it would meet the power needs. The mechanical engineers designed and built three blades out of cedar wood to turn the alternator. They also built a supporting frame and a tail. Testing showed that the blades they made worked, but did not perform well enough for the wind conditions on the island. Due to time limitations, we could not remanufacture our blades, so new blades were ordered. Through testing, we found that they would perform more than adequately for the island's needs. On March 3, 2006, four students and their faculty advisor traveled to the island. After meeting the local engineer, Felix Saldana, and having a brief meeting with the mayor's council, the construction began. <laughs> The community of La Palma took ownership of the project, giving of their time and resources for its success. They provided the tower, cement, and a lot of man hours. Seeing their dedication to the construction and their desire to learn more about this new technology assured us that this project would not only be maintained after we left, but would also expand to other parts of the island. The tower raising was a true test of unity and teamwork for the local residents as the majority of the men participated in this day-long event. With Felix Saldana in charge, the process went smoother than anyone expected. Before we arrived on Ometepe, many of the residents were skeptical that this project would ever become a reality. Now that they could finally see the tower in place, they found a new hope and excitement about the project. The community's health clinic was extremely limited in the services that they could provide due to the lack of electricity. After dark, the clinic had to close for the day and they had no way to refrigerate vaccines. None of the residents own a vehicle, so in case of emergencies, they could not get in contact with or travel to the main clinic on the other side of the island. The school system wanted to expand to hold night classes for adults. These classes have to be at night, so the school needed electricity for lighting. After three full days of hard work, we were rewarded by seeing the windmill successfully spin and charge the batteries. Thank <laughs> you. 